my subscribers if you don't know my subscribers it's pretty much anybody to subscribe to me if you'd like to become a subscriber make sure to subscribe otherwise you can get out today i'm going to be teaching you how to make this this is going to be clay bread so this is pretty much clay made out of bread and i looked this up on the internet and i did find one other video on this but um i'll make sure to link that video down below because i can't really remember who made it but I'll make sure to link the video down below. And yeah, so let's get started. White school, some bread, white bread, some bags, and a little measuring thing that is either one tablespoon. We're also going to be needing some dishwashing soap and mine. I'm just using Dawn. So first you're gonna start by taking your bag and opening it. Now you're gonna take a piece of bread. Um, you can take the crust off, but if you do take the crust off, you're probably gonna wanna do half a teaspoon. So yeah, and you're just gonna rip it up into some small pieces. I'm just gonna take my measuring spoon. I'm just gonna fill that up with some regular white scoop and I'm gonna pour that into the bag. Okay, so now we have all of the glue in the bag. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't all get onto it, you can just take your fingers and go like that. Make sure that you have as much glue as possible actually on the bread. So you're just going to take your dishwashing soap and measure it to one teaspoon. And you're just going to pour that in there. I accidentally got some on the table, so I'm a poopy. So now you're just going to go ahead and close the bag. Make sure you have as much ingredient actually on the bread as possible. And you're just going to start like smushing it up like this. So right here on this one that I that I made before this to test it out, this is actually two batches. This is actually two pieces of bread. So you're gonna, I recommend like making them in different batches, but if not, you can put two uh, pieces of bread in there and then just mix with two teaspoons of like those instead of separate batches. But I was trying it out, so I recommend you just do one at a time. Once you feel like you mix it around quite a bit, and all the you know liquids should be inside of the bread you can take it out and if it feels kind of sticky like you feel glue, you might want to put some more dishwashing soap in it i'm just gonna eyeball it but you should probably put half a tablespoon in there but, well i didn't really eyeball half a tablespoon i just kind of put more in but yeah you're just gonna wash it around until and you're gonna keep adding that until it feels like it's not gluey and then you're going to take little chunks at a time, so I'm going to take this much, this much, and then I'm going to squeeze it until it feels like clay. Okay, so I'm done with that piece, I'm going to set that down, and then take the next piece and start squishing that around, and you're just going to do that with all the little pieces until you've squished the whole entire thing. Once they're both done, I like to kind of mix it together just to see if it still feels smooth and stuff to make sure that they're about the same consistency. And you're done. You have your super cool bread clay. I really like this stuff because it's like a stress ball. It feels like it would, it feels really crumbly and stuff, but like it's not. Um, it doesn't get on your hands. The only reason I have stuff on my hands is because when you first start mixing it together like I was just doing, the um, it's still going to be wet. So. Yeah, if I just rub this stuff off, see how this is clean? Ta da! And yeah, I, even though this is made up out of bread, this is not edible. I mean, it probably is, but I don't think it would taste that good. If you would like it to be a different color, then you can totally, totally go ahead and put food coloring in it. I'm not going to stop you from doing that. And um, if you don't have liquid glue, I feel you. I feel you really bad. Um, I just got this today, which made my day. But um, you could actually melt a glue stick. Now, the, you have to be quick when you do that because one, it will be drying very quickly. So it will be like a solid really easily. So as soon as you get it out, you're gonna wanna, even if it does look like it's already melted in the microwave, keep melting it and do it for like a minute or something because you want it to be completely liquidy but yeah because the longer you keep it in there the longer it's gonna stay a liquid and yeah i hope you enjoyed this hopefully this was really helpful sorry i haven't uploaded in a little bit but in about a week actually 
but yeah I'll do more videos soon tell me if you like DIYs I don't know I just I, I feel like a beauty guru and I don't like it but yeah I hope you enjoyed it I'll see you all later I'm a beauty guru now bye Shutterstock music. <laughs> bye